Well, that's well, that's a problem actually because I've been uh, there was a point about five ten years ago when I was I was very lucky I was considered as one of the kind of to, to go to photographers so that was that was very flattering and very nice and kept me off the streets. Then of course everybody thought I'd given up acting, but that's another thing. It's very difficult to be a. a, a what do they call an it? All round. An all rounder. Yes. They don't like that in this country. In America, you can just about do everything, but uh, I have what is called a portfolio career. That's mm. it, three different things. It's supposed to be the mono threat. Oh, is that <laughs> the mono threat? No, I, a quadruple threat when you're desperate, you know. Uh, but anyway, I. Um, where did I got to? Yes, I, I got to the point where I, 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 I was quite. Uh, popular. Where was this leading? My brain is gone. Edit. <laughs> no, that was it. Thank you. Yeah. And um, a couple of years ago, I needed some new photos done. I put it off for as long as I as can. Long as, as long as I can. And um, I was trying to find a, a photographer who was still on film, and I, I, um, and I found this woman, and there was a photographer who was suddenly a very, very, you know, you, everybody goes in cycles, and this poor woman is very popular, and she takes rather glammy photographs. I thought, oh, well, yeah, just this once. Let's give yeah. it a go. So it said, please email this address when you want your photographs done. So I emailed the address. To which I get the reply, are you the Lisa Bannon that takes photographs? Harmless enough question. That's pretty good. Yes, I am. You know. right. Got this email back saying, I'm terribly sorry, I can't take your photographs. It's a clash of interests. Okay, what? <laughs> <laughs> Nick your camera. No, I'm what I don't. I don't. Yeah, I've been an actor for almost 30 years, you know, and there comes a point where I'm not going to sit there going, oh, I don't think you should do it like that. Mm. You know, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, you know, I just want, if I like your photo, yeah, exactly. Good, yeah. You know. You're not, you're not, not industrial she, she just said, oh, I, it has happened in the past when I'd taken photographs of somebody who um, was also a photographer and we, we, we'd agreed that it was a conflict of interest. I couldn't see that at all. So anyway, I had to abandon that because she refused. Then I rang another photographer who equally had... Thank you. <laughs> yes, that's what I thought about. That's... Anyway. <laughs> um, so I then rang another photographer. Who, who was a bit bonkers, but she's a rather good photographer. And I, and I said, hello, my name is... Uh, she goes... And she's a slightly eccentric French lady. She goes, uh, you do, do you take photographs? You know? And I went, yes. He said, oh, I can't. And I thought, oh, God, here we go again. So I spent an hour and a half on this phone to her saying, I'm not her. going to tell... I'm not going to nick your technique. I'm not going to tell you how to take photographs. I'm just an athlete. Can I actually say... Can you take my picture, please? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I was getting desperate by that point. You Which know? you think, <laughs> when you call up a photographer, that would be a straightforward thing exactly. to sort out. Exactly. So anyway, then I, I went to her, and at the end of the day, she goes, "Oh, it's much easier to take photographs of you than I thought." You go, "What did you think I was going to do?" You don't want to do it like that, love. That kind of thing. That was what they were expecting. <laughs> yeah. So there's an irony there, but but, yeah. but you know, however successful you are, I was hit quite badly by the digital market. I have to say, when it really? first came out, I I've spent years avoiding digital photography only because the vast majority of photography for spotlight is black and white, mm. and black and white film is very good. Mm. It was always very... It's, yeah. it's, it's quite a long process and it's yeah. quite demanding, but I had by that point a printer anyway yeah. who's doing all my work. And it was fine, but then because digital stuff was coming so quickly yeah. and people wanted things on demand or they wanted yeah. colour or they yeah. wanted this and that, and I thought, oh, do you know... And last year I did go digital. Mm. The technology has come on enormously yeah, since has, it first yeah. started. So, it's yeah. still not, black yeah. and white is still not perfect. I you, know what I'm doing with Photoshop. You've still not, you've still not took, quite got the amount, the degrees of latitude. No, not in black and white, no, yeah. no, no, you yeah. don't. And also color rendition is, is very, very uh, tricky yeah, on some things, yeah. yeah. You've got um, 100 years of history versus 10 years of yes, history. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And it has improved. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. I do have Photoshop. And I, and I know what I'm doing with Photoshop, so I, I can tweak it enough to yeah. make it look. Yeah. And because, sadly, people's visual vocabulary has changed. Mm. I mean, I took some photographs of a quite a well-known actress recently, and they wanted, to, on the, uh, wanted one, to use one on the front cover of a sort of monthly magazine. And they said, oh, it's out of focus. And I said, no, it's not out of focus, it's grainy. And it's just that they're not <laughs> used to it. And they said, we can't do it. And I did this huge scan, very, very high very you know, high um, resolution. Uh, resolution. Yeah. And they just, it, 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 it's, they, they could, they didn't like it. No so I thought, you know, if I'm losing my work yeah. now because yeah. of this, yeah. I've got to just move on and say, yeah. that's that. That's that. Mm. But then, of course, in a sense, it was quite useful that I, I, I did go out of favour for a while because um, 
people did forget that I was a performer. That I that's that's what I mm. that's what I did. And mm. it's very as we said earlier on in this country, if you do more than one thing, yeah. people think well you can't be very good at any of them. Because, Jack of all trades. Yeah, yeah, that's your love. Yeah, yeah. No, exactly. So, um, but by then actually I'd started directing for Big Finish. So mm. in a way, you know, uh, mm. uh, my, my, one of my sisters always said, read this book called Who Stole My Cheese, mm. and it was about somebody you, when you're very successful in one quarter, and then suddenly everybody comes up and take, overtakes you. Mm. So in a way, you've got to find another cheese to go on to yeah. so you can, yeah. to can move on mm. to that one so in a way that's yeah. that's that's mm. what mm. usefully happened at the time so old vic theater uh, acting photography then directing but in a different medium so you yeah. started off obviously acting uh, obviously on, i think the first thing i saw you i remember seeing on television it was a, a rerun it was on casual that was, that was my first television for, yeah. really okay. it was my very wow. first yeah 86. so talk to us about that process of going from being an actor on television or on, on film yeah. and then moving to directing in audio mm. every uh, alec chaps every medium is different mm. uh, and the problem that I have, I have a big problem with drama training now, is that they've started categorising. Oh, I did three years in television, or I did a year's um, you know, med electronic media course, or acting for uh, stage, or acting. Actually, you are either an actor or you're not. And in order to keep working as an actor, you have to be able to cross genre mm -hmm. at any time, whether it be um, panto one week, and, a, and, a, and an Ibsen on a radio the next week. Yeah. That, 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 that is your versatility. It's a very dirty word, versatility. Nobody <laughs> knows how to cast you, so you've got to be very, very cautious about these things. Yeah. And the irony, from my point of view with television, is that on stage I'd done nothing but costume drama. Mm. I, was, I had a 20s, permanent 20s bob for about a year and a half, you know. <laughs> but I couldn't get arrested for Jeeves and Worcester or House of Elliot because my first Teddy had been casualty with long hair and a Bristol accent. And a lot of and and a soap uniform. opera subsequently as well. Well, yeah, but but actually, that's only because that's the way the industry has worked. There wasn't right. so proper. I mean, in fact, I, and I quote this back quite often, um, in terms of the output of what the BBC does mm -hmm. when it comes to drama, when we were launched in Casualty, it was the 1986-1987 drama season, and we were launched at BAFTA during the whole of that season. And I found the magazine not long ago that they published to go with it. And in the, they produced so much what we would consider drama in those days. And they had that, you know, within a year they'd produce The Life and Loves of the She-Devil, The Monarch of Mutineer, The Singing Detective. They had this strand screen one, they had screen two, they had screen play, which was just a kind of small studio-based plays. They had um, uh, um, the Theban plays. They had theatre night, which was stage plays on television. And one page was taken up because it was the first year of EastEnders. Wow. Now, at some point, suddenly thought that wasn't working. Don't ask me who. I have no idea. But they, now, you find it's the other way around. Everything is soap. Most yeah. of us jobbing actors will only ever get seen for soaps now. Do doctors or EastEnders mm. or... Uh, but it's trying to get... Well, yeah, yeah, I've done you, you look them up and, and they've played several different parts in Doctors. In the same, oh, yes, I've done Doctors just, twice, yeah. Just like, it was a few years and then you... But I even went back to Casualty. That was funny. I, I, that, I went in... Oh, this is a few years ago. I went in for the interview. It's a very last-minute piece of audition. And they said... Um, they had my CV in front of me. <laughs> And I wasn't going to say it. I needed the job, you know. And, and I, I literally, it was a very, it was that day I found out I got the casting. And it was for a drunk head teacher with a nail in her foot. A nail in it? With a nail in it. It was very important. <laughs> it and I went in and, and they actually said to me, so, um, casualty, are, are, are you, you know, aware of casualty? <laughs> they didn't have their, your CV in front of them at the time. They did. Oh, they, they, did. did. they had my CV in front of them. And I went, Terrible. Yes. They said, so, so you've watched some casualty. I've only been two series. That's yes. And I, I didn't say anything. I read the part, because it might have precluded me getting the choice. So anyway, I read the part, and I, I was literally in a traffic jam on the M25 on the way back, and I got a phone call saying, yes, you've got the job, so I thought, fine. Yeah. And, it, and, and it's weird, because when I did it, it was 10 episodes, and the second episode was 12 episodes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was very different. We had rehearsals. The R word. My God, we had rehearsals. You know, mm. and I went in and did it. And it's a very, very different mm. ball game now. I mean, it's a bit like doing doctors. It's, it's you know, kick problem and scramble. You know, I've like just, that. I've just noticed <laughs> you'll be on stage in the next few minutes. Will I? 
Unfortunately, I'm sorry. there's so many more questions. I wanted to cover Big Finish. Oh, yeah, I Big Finish, Big Finish. And finish. I wanted to cover all sorts of things, including Chicks Dig Downloads. But I've just noticed, and I've just been waved at from the door, saying that you'll be on stage in about three minutes. Now, you're just going to wear yourself out talking and talking. So very sorry. Well, that's OK. Thank sorry. you very, very much for Thank talking you. to me. It's a real pleasure. Nice Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs>